Hello everyone. How are y'all? Rachel here with Rachel's Unique Crafts and today we're going to make a um, lampshade. Um, I have things that you wouldn't think that you would make a lampshade out of. It's going to be kind of a French country, kind of a Victorian, shabby, um, totally dazzled lampshade. So Totally Dazzled um, is this company and they have um, little gems. Let me show y'all this. This is one of them that we're gonna use today. Isn't that beautiful? That is so pretty. I used to make, and I guess I still do, but not as much as I used to, but I used to make the big old, um, I called them foo-foos and I got a hair hanging down right there, um, corsages very beautiful um but i would always order gems to go on them to embellish them with and they're not cheap and i wish i had known about this company way back then because these gems you can get them at a very 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 low price um on totally dazzled the link is in the description of the video if you want to go and click and check them out um but right now, I'm gonna turn you down and we're gonna make a lampshade. Okay. And I don't know if I told you or not, I'm Rachel with Rachel's Unique Crafts. I kinda got started. I don't know if I even said that or not. So, um, this, it's, this one's got a little rust on it and it's, been worn and it was given to me so uh, free is cheap enough anyway this is a hanging uh, flower basket and what you would do you would put your cocoa liner in here and then your flowers live or artificial whatever you'd like to do well when I seen it I automatically thought it looks like a lampshade I mean, it's got the cir circle right here, everything. It just, to me, it looked like a lampshade. So, I took a sheet, just a twin size sheet that you can get from um, Walmart for like, what, $3.96 or $3.76, something like that. You know, close to $4. And I cut me some strips. Now, I like farmhouse, I like French country, I like Victorian, the shabby look. I'm, my house is just a mixture of it all. So, I cut about, and what I did, I cut about 26 inches across. And then I went through here, and about every inch or so, I just cut a little slit. And this is what I've done. And that's probably loud on video but that's all you do and yeah it, it's gonna give it that roughed edge but that's what I was you know going for so then um, I take it go up under here actually yeah that's the way I went I think that's the way no, this is how did I now I'm getting myself confused Okay, this is the way. See, you just bring it, you make a little loop, and then you're gonna feed it, your tails through that loop. And then it makes your little um, tassels hanging down. Tails, tassels, whatever you wanna call them. So you just bring them through like that. And so then you just go all the way around doing that same technique. I have done this on wreaths before, um, many years ago, and we're not gonna say how many, <laughs> but back in my teenage years, I did this technique on um, styrofoam to make wreaths. So I have been wreathing for a very, very long time because um, that was many moons ago. So, but this, 
is the the technique that I used all the way around. I'm not going to use this one. It's got some. It needs to be brushed all this off and, and repainted. It's um kind of all messed up, and I haven't cleaned it, so I'm going to set it aside. And being as you know how I'm putting it on, and then I went through and I just kind of trimmed off the end ends of them. But see how pretty that is. It is just kind of a a shabby look, a Victorian. So now you have some options here. You could put this on a covered porch. You could put it in your home. Um, they have these at Dollar General, not Dollar General, Dollar Tree. It's called a plant hanger, and it's got the four little hooks with the main hook at the top and then your chains and your hooks at the bottom so you could hang it like this and hang it anywhere front porch back porch you know i would put it under a cover porch unless you was using a solar light of course um but i picked up these and if y'all seen one of the other chandeliers that i made you'll um know that I have bought four of these light bulbs and why I'm on a light kick I don't know but um it's battery operated and let's see batteries go down in there it's got a little let me show you a little hook there that you could hang it if you wanted to but it's also got this magnet so what I was thinking is putting the, the light bulb right there it's battery operated it's LED so it is bright and it's got a remote so if it was hanging up high you wouldn't have to reach, you know, go get a ladder and all to turn it off or on. And I don't know if you can really tell. Um, I've got bright lights on in here. Um, maybe if I turn it off. There it is. So you say you can see through it even. But, I mean, it was shining down here. Okay, I'll turn this light back on so, to make it bright. And we'll turn this one off. Okay, so to embellish it, um, I've got some, it looks like a crocheted uh, ribbon. And what I'm gonna do, let's see, is my hot glue gun hot? It is. Okay. Now my nose itches. I'm either sneezing or coughing. It's not coughing, but sneezing or, or my nose is itching. All right, let's see. We're going to uh, add our little jewels on there. But I wanted to put a little bow. And I think this bow, this ribbon is so pretty. This. this is just some little, um, some kind of little thin yarn, and it's got some fuzzies on it. I'm just going to take, I was going to add a whole lot more ribbon, but I thought, you know, sometimes less is more. And I don't want to take away from the, the little gem that we're going to use. see what I'm doing here. Make sure y'all are still in the camera, or that I'm still in the camera, rather, huh? I 
I'm going to cut this one right here. You'll get strings when you cut the sheet. You're going to get tons of string. I'll tie this one a little tighter. I'm just tying it in a knot here. And we're going to leave some little strings hanging down. I may even trim it some more. You could um, hang this with the chain. You could use it um, on a regular lamp. I haven't decided that. I have a, a um, floor lamp stand that doesn't have a shade. I also have a table lamp stand, so I haven't really decided. Um, I think I'm gonna put this a little shorter. Don't know which one I'm actually gonna use it on. Um, if this could be, you know, for a covered porch. Like I said, unless you was gonna use a solar light, you could use a solar light bulb. Um, I don't know if I have one here. I didn't think about having it out to, to show you all. Um, I do have one somewhere around here. But all you would do is just, you know, drop it in there. In that little circle. So this was a brooch. Um, and I just took the little pin off of it. How pretty is that? Oh my goodness. How stinking pretty is that? And all we used was a flower pot, a wire flower pot. Um, I ripped up a sheet from Walmart, a little bit of um, crocheted lace, and a totally dazzled gem. A light bulb, you could do solar or you could do, I would recommend doing it inside, especially if you was gonna use the, the pretty gem. How cute is that? Now this is not gonna be for everyone, but I absolutely love it. I think it is so dainty, so pretty. Um, it will definitely be used I don't know, um, my bedroom or I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but isn't that pretty? I just love it. I think it is very pretty. And once again, all you do is you take your, your uh, little string here, your little ribbon tail you can, uh, you can actually do it this way. Just put your loop, make a loop, bring it under, and then feed that through your loop. And voila. I'll do one more. Well, I've got a strand. I know I have a lot of them. Take it, try to get up real close. Take it under, and you feed your tails through that loop and pull it. And I just made them real snug going all the way around. 
Mm. And that's all you do. And there it is. And the light can, it can shine through the, um, the little ribbon tails. It can shine down through there and there's light that can come up. I think it turned out gorgeous. Tell me what you think about it in the comments. If you're gonna make one and where you're gonna put it, I think it's beautiful. Um, and you can get the gems they have. This is a rose gold. They have the gold. Um, and I believe they even have, they do have silver because here's one of the um, night lights that we have made with the totally dazzled uh, gems. Isn't that beautiful? That is just beautiful. And this was a salt and pepper shaker from the Dollar Tree. So, and we just took it, we mod podged a napkin on there and put some um, a crocheted um, little lace and um, these little tassels. This is um, a lace that comes from Hobby Lobby. So, isn't that pretty? But they do, they have the gold, they have the silver, and they have the rose gold. That is so beautiful. I hope you all try this and check out Totally Dazzled. Um, the link is down in the description of the video. Um, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click that bell. When you click the bell, YouTube gets to notify you when I upload a new video every time. So, um, I appreciate y'all watching this video and I hope you come back and watch some more. Let me know in the comments if you're gonna make it, what you think about it. It's not for everyone, but um, I think it is so pretty. I love you all and I thank y'all for being here. And until next time, have a great evening. Thank y'all and get to crafting. Let me know what you make. Also, I have a Rachel's Unique Crafts on Facebook. I have a Rachel's Unique Crafts VIP group. But you can go share uh, pictures of what you've made. So go uh, join that group also. Thank y'all. Y'all have a great evening. Good night.